welcome back to Palace Palace Perfumes and Panning. Phoebe Faye here and I'm here to do a get ready with me using my brand new Lancome palette and lipstick which Tracy gifted me for my upcoming birthday. So let's get into it. Let's get into it like I said. So we're going to start off with um, the skincare. So I am as always using my Amanda Holden. Um, I use this a lot. I'm doing well with it. Um, I'm doing well not so much with the face or the neck sculpting one, but I'm doing very well with the um, face sculpting cream, if you want to call it that. Um, I'm doing, like I use it all the time under my makeup, I find it really good. Like, I'm, you can kind of see I'm getting good use of it and I'm getting down to the nitty gritty of the pot. Um, so that's going well. And um, the neck sculpting one I don't really use as much. So I kind of skipped that step, you know, I don't really need to sculpt my neck at the age I'm at currently. So I'm not really using that one as often, but I do use that under my makeup and to um, just do my skincare underneath my makeup to make it last longer. Then I'm going in with the Catrice Perfector Poreless Blur Primer. Love this for blurring the pores, it is amazing. It was on like silk. Absolutely love this one. It's a little cheapy from Catrice, but it's amazing and it does the job. So the main stars of the show are definitely the Lancome products, which I was gifted by the lovely Tracy for my upcoming birthday. You know, she gave me them in advance and I'm really excited to use them today. So I'll show you those in a sec. Just put could put some highlighter on first. I'm going in with the um multitasker give it a little shaky shake because it is looking a bit um looking a bit like watery you know so it needs a bit of a shake and then i'll just put a little bit of that on just get my mirror so i'm using the fenty mirror got to use our fenty bronzer today too so we'll just put a little bit of this on Underneath foundation, I can't wait really to the palette. I've created a look with it yesterday, and it is just done. It's a stunner, and so is the lippy. They're amazing. Um, I've used them both, but I'm going to use them today the first time on camera. So yeah, just that. Put a little bit of highlighter on the face. I'm not really into um, powder highlighters anymore. I don't really tend to use them much. Don't know why, you know. I'm just kind of gone off them a little bit. Don't know if it's the time of year or if it's just personal preference, but I don't really tend to use highlighter anymore. So I'm doing really well. I'm panning this Matte Perfection Rimmel um, Foundation. It's their best one in the range. Um, but I also have this last and finished one here today to kind of mix and match them. So one of them is in rose ivory and the other one is in ivory. So we kind of mix and match, you know. Sorry if I'm kind of going really fast on this today, but it's going to be a quick get it ready with me. So I'm kind of like ooh, talking really fast, you know, trying to get ready really quickly. Um, so sorry if I'm kind of feel like, if it feels like I'm rushing. I just can't wait to get to the star of the shows, palette and the beautiful palette and beautiful lippy. Can we show you them? So the look I created yesterday was kind of a smoky eyeshadow look and I loved it. It was beautiful. So we'll try and recreate that one today. Yeah. So next I'm going to go in with some um, mm, brows I guess. So we'll use the Makeup Revolution Fluffy Brow Jewel. I did actually break the pencil on this. So it's kind of like I'm trying to use it up, the broken part of it. So that um, I can just start afresh with the part that isn't broke. Just try and use that product that I broke it, kind of like it sort of um, came off it. When I was, put, when I was applying the um, eyebrow pencil, it just kind of broke in half. It came off it and I tried to put stick it back in because I hate wasting that whatnot and I don't like wasting products so I stuck it back into the component and I'm trying to use it up now before it kind of falls out again and I don't get to use it 
you get my drift, you know I'm just kind of like a bit confused and I know, but hey ho, it's the way it goes, isn't it? Hey, it wastes some products. So I'm just going to use the pencil end of that one, and then I'm going to go in with this one, which is the brow fix. Haven't used this in a hot minute. It's in the shade blonde. Just to fluff the brows up. Tad. It's incredible, really. Um, I mean, it's looking really good. Putting the wrong ones back. Right, um, next. Next we're going with some blush. I'm just going to use my buttermilk blush by NYX. I love blush at the moment. Blush has kind of been replaced by, or um, my highlighter has kind of, my love for highlighter has been replaced by my love for blush. I'm kind of loving blush at the moment and I'm kind of not really into highlighter as much. Don't ask me why. I don't know what it is about highlighter. I'm just kind of gone off it. The look. I know I'm actually putting a liquid highlighter on underneath my foundation, but I'm just kind of not really feeling it at the moment. I'm loving blush, so blush is where it's at. So next I'm going to go in with my Fenty bronzer, which is this one I've been using the mirror of. Sorry, there's a lot of finger marks on it. Um, it's in the shade Island Ting 04. It's the Sunstalker bronzer. And you can kind of see there that I've been using it and the FB for Fenty Beauty is kind of, the indentation is kind of wearing off a little bit because I'm getting good juice out of this bronze. <laughs> Might fast forward through some of these steps. Because the main star of the show is definitely going to be, um, the main star to get ready with me is definitely going to be the palette. It's enough bronze. So um, next I'm going to use a new one which is the Prep and Perfect Refreshing Set and Spray by Primark Pennies um, with aloe vera niacinamide and pro vitamin B5. So I picked this one up there maybe it was two days ago and it's really good. I've been using it as part of my skincare regime as well. Um, yeah. Actually, we leave that to the end of the, the eyeshadows on and all that good stuff. So yeah, we'll go in with the eyeshadow palette next. Can't wait to show you. And here it is, ta-da! It's giving Natasha the known advice, but it's lawn come. So it comes out like so. Beautiful packaging. It's paper, I love this, it's so soft, this part here. Beautiful. I'll just get an eyeshadow brush and I'll show you the beautiful well actually it's really handy because it has a film on it on the mirror so you can't really see anything so I'm not blinding well I am slightly blinding you but they are the stunning colours there they are in all their glory beautiful I love the shimmers especially very unique that pink one is gorgeous so they're really really nice really really pretty and we are going to do another look with them um, I've already used this as you can probably tell yesterday, but now I'm going to use it again. Right, so we'll go in with this one here, this taupey shade first of all, all over. Um, I'm not going to take the film off the palette, so I'm just going to use my Fenty mirror for the eyeshadow look. So we'll use that taupey shade, we'll go right up to the brow bone with it, taupey shade. Um, and next we will do some glitter on the brow bone. So we might use this one here, number three, I guess as you could call it. It's kind of a pinky brow bone shade. It's pretty, pretty glittery. Might use that one on the inner corner too. I love glittery shades on the brow bone. Um, yeah, I'll use a little bit of that on the inner corner. It's kind of pinky. And then we move in with a chocolatey shade in the crease, which is the fifth one. Put that one there. So I'm using that one in the crease. And I'm going to try and replicate what I did in yesterday's look, just because I liked it. <laughs> so 
that one's not too dark in the crease. You know, like, I don't want to go in with a really intense one. Out into the outer V. And in the I You mightn't have noticed that I'm using one eyeshadow brush, it's something I've been doing for handiness sakes recently. Um, just using the one eyeshadow brush and also, just a fallout, but that's okay because I'm just going to like tap the brush and kind of collect the um, pigments and uh, that I've, that I don't want to waste them so I'm gonna, just going to dab the brush and collect the um, pigmented eyeshadow and put it on the the ball of the eye, this one, this kind of darky, um, smoky shade. Right, so yeah, you might have noticed I'm only using one um, eyeshadow brush. It's something I've been doing lately just for handiness sake, like I said. So that's all over the lid. Smoking it out like I did just in the yesterday's look, which I didn't manage to get a video of or anything. Or a picture of, but that's okay. And um, we'll just rep try and replicate it as best we can. So then, um, yeah, I've been doing that so, some, using less brushes as well with my, in my makeup regime. Like I use like maybe a few with the um, base as well as the eyeshadow. Just trying to simplify it, you know. You know how it goes. Simpler the better. Any fallout there that I've gotten. Foundation over it. <laughs> um, Right, so next I'm going to go in with a little bit of glitter. We're going to use this pinky kind of ready shade. It's coming out kind of red on camera, but it's actually pink in person. Yeah, you can kind of see it's pink now. So we'll put a little bit of that on the ball of the eye. And yeah, just a little bit of glitter. Glitter magic as I like to call it. And these are so buttery. Very, very soft eyeshadows to the touch. Beautiful. I love a soft eyeshadow, the, the, the sort of buttery, you know, the vibe. It's just, it's just nice, you know, for a buttery shadow. And then I'm going to go in with the residue on the brush and put it on the lower lash line. Whatever residual eyeshadow I have left, and kind of smoke it out, like so. To kind of blend it in with the. And that's looking nice, it's looking like eyeliner, just to blend it in with the um, shadow on the lid and all over the eye, really. So that's looking good. I do say so myself. Um, next, I'm going to go in with some a little bit of um, mascara. A little bit of mascara. And we're using the Rimmel Wonder Bond Bond and Serum Mascara today. I have like uh, 35 odd mascaras so this one is the one we're using today so I could basically do one, a different one a month like a different one each day of the month if I wanted to put them on rotation I could do so because I have so many so it's a good thing but it's also a bad thing because <laughs> it's kind of like mascara overkill I don't need that many mascaras realistically so I've stopped buying mascara um, I haven't bought one in a while. The most recent one I've bought is this one here, the Maybelline Fireworks, which I've actually changed my opinion on. I really like it now. It's a good mascara. It's not as good as this Wonder Bond or the Lawn or the um, is it? Yeah, the Monster or Big Bear Lawn Come. It's my other favorite. It is Lawn Come, yeah. Um, and this one here, this Wonder Bond. This is a lash serum in it, so that's why that one's really good. And the Lancome one is just really good because I like the texture of it. It's nice and heavy on the lashes and you know the vibes. I like a clumpy lash, <laughs> a clumpy mascara. I don't know why, I just do. Very unpopular opinion over here. So next we're going to go in with my one of my favourite lip liners, Rimmel Cappuccino. And we're doing a neutral lip 
because I also have the beautiful lips that Tracy gifted me. She got some of these in the um, Lancome Beauty Box that they've come out with. I'm not really like like um, the biggest, I don't know everything about Lancome, but I know that they do come out with beautiful beauty boxes every year. And this is the beautiful lipstick, one of the beautiful lipsticks that came in this year's beauty box, which she actually gifted to me. This is my birthday upcoming. So um, yeah, she gifted me that one. And we're going to use that one today with this smoky eyeshadow look, which I tried to replicate from the lovely one from yesterday. So we're going in with Cappuccino by Rimmel. We're going to overline the lip. And overline Cupid's bow. That has given me a really, really um, neutral lip. Quite a grungy look today, isn't it? And I'm not going to use any um, gloss today, but I just want this to speak for itself. Mmm. Buttery. So I'm a huge fan of, um, lately, a dark lip liner and a beautiful, stunning, um, a dark lip liner and a beautiful, stunning, neutral lip. Mmm. I think it, well, it works wonderfully well if you do sort of like a nice um, neutral lip and kind of yeah a darker lip liner I don't know I like the dimension it gives the lip so that's basically it I think for the look um, hmm. it was a quickie quick one not too long I've got to get ready with me is there anything else I need to do we can just go in with a little bit more eyeshadow maybe because, you know, like, just to um, make sure that everything's looking on point. And so, I know I'm wearing enough makeup, but just to ensure, I love this palette. It really is a, a star palette. Um, just to make sure that I'm looking on good, looking on fleek. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what else? I don't really need any more makeup, do I? I have enough. <laughs> right, so we'll do a little thumbnail and then we will let you go for today. I'll just spray some of this lovely spray on my face by um, Primark. Why do I always say Primark when I say pennies in reality? I don't know. In day to day life, it's a pennies. I'm going to pennies. But for some reason, on a video, I'm like Primark. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyhow, this is a really good one. It's kind of a dupe for the MAC Fix Plus. And it's a good one. I like it. So we'll just spray some of that on the face. Make sure the nozzle is okay. Okay. Got some in my hair, but that's okay. So, um, yeah. So that's sort of our finished look. I like the eyeshadow a lot. I think the eyeshadow speaks for itself. Don't even need any eyeliner. Just smoke out the lower lash line and some mascara and you're good to go. So the long comb palette is definitely an A star palette. Stunning. It's given Natasha's Nona vibes, but it's very unique when you open it up in the large pans. The outer packaging is given Natasha's Nona vibes, I would say. Kind of reminds me of one of her sort of bigger palettes. This sort of um, packaging, the shape of it, but it is definitely it speaks for itself. And I don't know, I love the Bieber palette, but I love this one too. Really, really good. And the lippy is amazing. It's lovely and neutral. So I really like this long come lippy. It's in the shade for reference 210 Unspoken Feelings into matte. So it's a matte, obviously, but I would say it's kind of a creamy matte. So yeah. So that's pretty much it. We'll do a thumbnail and then I'll let you go. What are we at? We're at nearly 20 minutes now. Um, so that's basically the look I've created and I really like it. I hope you do too. And we'll do a little thumbnail. So um, yeah, just a little thumbnail and then I'll let you go because we're kind of... That was really quick get ready with me, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was like, uh, it's kind of we're getting on for time. So I'll just do a quick thumbnail for the after. And then I'll let you go. 
Okay. So that'll do it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.